Bruno lo tratan también. You know, once again, I got too many clothes on. Look at this. That's because it's winter time in, in, in South Africa. It's kind of cold out there, you know. Mm -hmm. I got, uh, so, uh, can you just hold this for a second, brother Billy? Just hold on to it. I want to just take this off here and put this over one of your files there. The file won't matter, you know, the, the file don't talk, mm -hmm. you know, but this, uh, this fine jacket I got here, I took this off. Just throw that down like that. Now, I know you're saying, well, why you want to throw that fine jacket oh, down on the floor like that? Mm -hmm. I mean, look at that jacket. It's all sitting on the door. Reversible things. I can lay it on both sides. I can turn it around. And, you know, one side's blue, the other side is camouflage. But that's what I want you to know. See, this is camouflage. That material that, you know, stuff go on. You can take it right off. Grease, water, everything resistant. I throw this any place I want. See that? <laughs> That's all right, you know. Mm -hmm. In fact, you know, then let's talk fashion. I told you about my Persian scarf before, you know. Mm -hmm. A good friend of mine, she picked it up from, from, from my ranch. She brought it back to me. I got another one. It's a red one. I hardly ever wear it. You know why I hardly ever wear it? Because when something's really good, I hardly ever wear it. Mm -hmm. And then I got this nice shirt. I know the designer this is. A designer made this, I, I know her, you know, and like that. And of course, you know, my walking stick got this from the Rasta man here in Alice. Mm. Rasta man right around the corner for me to make this sort of stuff, you know. This, this is a rather nice one. I like this one. <laughs> oh, look at that. And this here, this is unique. You can't find a copper thing like this no place. I just got this repaired the other day by Nazuko up there in her shop, you know. But it's very, I like it, you know, it's not square. It's nice, you know? Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, the, the cap is this authentic Eastern Cape cap, closer cap, you know? I got it from Western Cape, though, but you know, so, okay. And oh, these glasses, these fine glasses, this is Japanese design. It's like it's like a piece of art you can't see, but it's got a, some art, some bevel thing there. Yeah, I'd be interested. And just, and, oh, wait a second, wait. Right, let me show you. No problem. See this shirt here? It's like unique design, Sankofa bird, mm. you know. This is given to me. It was given to me. You know, some of this stuff I bought, some of this stuff was given to me. But this one, this is from a, a fraternity brother of mine. You know, I mean, we came fraternity together. It's like your initiation school. You know, I made my fraternity when I was 15. And you would go to well, my my line was particularly rough because we had the, we had the mental and the physical. You know, well, I won't get into that right now. But but this this the, the cat the cat, he's the head of a, a department at, at Keene University, New Jersey. He's the head of Africana Studies or something like that. What it is. Anyway, he's 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 like a, a big time uh, uh, historian, Egyptologist. He can even read those hieroglyphs and stuff like that. You know. In fact, he was a subject. Check this out. He was the subject of one of my interviews I did one time uh, when I was asking him about uh, good history books. You know, and he gave me a whole list and everything. I had this nice uh, uh, interview uh, it's up there someplace on the internet. But you know, the thing is, you know, he sounds like a professor, he looks like a professor, and it was a great interview. And at the end, this is what made it so great. At the end, because I, cause I know, I know, but you know, Dr. Connors, I know. I said, uh, well, you know, Basically, well, where did you grow up? You know, and he said, "Well, like the rest of us, we grew up in the projects." So now you get this whole interview, and then all of a sudden the guy says, "Well, I grew up in the projects." Now you got to think, well, if he grew up in the projects, and a bunch of other people grew up in township, then what's the difference between you know him, me, or whoever? And there is no difference except that he found a passion. See, that's what's happening in the world today. Ain't no more passion. You know, people, I think people sort of despair. You know, they think it ain't gonna happen, so they just give up. Even before they even find their passion, they give up. Mm -hmm. That's just my opinion, I'm, I'm an audio doc. Oh, I gotta show you one more thing here. This is my newest stuff. I wanna call it, oh, 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 before I show you this, hey, you always wonder about, I know you wonder about that, mm -hmm. that music, right? Okay, but let, me, let, me, let me show you, this was made from me in India. So, so. I told you that before. Yeah. The boys love me so much mm -hmm. that they, they just made this, you know. And it, but did I tell you, it's my theme music. 
I tell you about that mm -hmm. one. Yeah. yeah, about you know how the black people, you know, in the, in the early in the black exploitation period, you know, they had their theme music, and the hero come on the screen, it'd be a theme, you know. I told you about that. Okay, hold this for a second. I gotta put this back on because you know I can't go. You know, like him, I can't even focus on my theme music, you know. All right. Man, I'm going to hold that back down a minute. But let me show you about this bag here. Now, this design comes from uh, Thailand. You see, it got the, I'm the one I actually had to, just a pocket on the outside, and zip it in. I can keep stuff in here. I got I to I keep my, my, my little book in here. I, gotta, I always have some um, pen and paper like right that. And then, you know, you got to, you want to feel that? Feel that, feel that material there, brother. Mm. Good, good, that, mm. good sturdy material. Mm. Hey, that's because I'm, I'm only travel with the finest of the finest, you know. Mm -hmm. So the brother made it for me, you know. And it goes over your shoulder, it goes, it can go like this, or like that. But the best way, the best, but, uh, could you hold this one more time for me? But, but here's the best way, this this what? This is, I learned this in Guatemala. I saw the guys in Guatemala, and they do this in Thailand too. You can wear this like over your head, like that, and your arms are free. The stuff is not really on your back, and you're walking around like that. But more importantly, see, when you're in these countries, even here, you know, when you got a lot of flies, flies attack your ears. Well, this goes over your ears, and the flies don't get you. Hmm. How about that? I, I can take that back now, brother. Thank you so much. See, can I can lay this thing down because it's washable and everything like that, very sturdy. Well, here's what I'm saying. No passion, but the other thing is that all, a lot of times what we do is we, we get, you know, we get stuff and we just throw it away, you know. That's all right. You're supposed to, you know, throw stuff away so you, 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 you're there for the new blessings coming in. But I got to tell you a tiny, tiny story that, that, I, that I can start right now. When I was a little kid, I shouldn't say little kid, I must have been about 12, 13, something like that. Uh, there was a function at my house, you know, I lived with my grandmother, there was a function, the whole family was there, you know. And there was an older cousin, he happened to be born on the same day I was born. Yeah, so you know? can you come? Yeah. And, um, so, yeah. Come on in, brother, come on in, come on in. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I've been here for a long time, I don't so, know, is it a new rule, right? Sure, yeah, 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 okay. yeah. Okay. do that, do that. Mm. We got a busy office here, brother. Mm. Wait, but this older cousin, he was born the exact same day I was, but it's years apart. In mm. fact, I was about 12, 13, and he was about my age now. But he had this gift, you know. He could read you. He would read palms and just mm. read. So he was reading the whole family, you know, starting with the older people on down. You know, and it was very quiet in the corner. Not the corner, just out of the way. Mm. You know, everybody's being read. No, 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 nothing. Then he got to me, and he stopped, and he said, all right, he stopped the whole thing. He said, all right, I want everybody to hear this. And so I'm going like, hey, he's going to talk about me. This is going to be good. And he says, this boy will never have any money. Now, you have to understand, now I know this is the early 60s, you know, in, in, in America. So they wasn't really all money obsessed. And it was more about, especially the black community, more about education. Some people say, you can learn the value of money and stuff like that. But, you know, we wasn't full capitalist, you know, for, you know, just ripping on people and stuff like that. You know, it, it wasn't like it is now. Where people, everybody, everything is money. But I had to sense and say, wait a second, if I'm not going to have any money, this is not going to be good. I don't know if I like this. But then he said, but he will never need any. He'll always have a dollar in his pocket. Mm. That made me feel good. I mean, since that was a whole hard capitalist then, so it was all right with me. I said, well, hey, as long as I can eat and walk around, I'm cool. But you know, that's been true. Mm. I've traveled the world without any money. I go to places I can't, I don't even know how I would get there. I go to places of people. So what I'm saying, I guess, is that I think what we all need to do is uh, not just step into our destiny, but not be so obsessed about obsessions, find our desires, you know, our passions, and work on our passions, because if you fulfill your passion, if you fulfill your, 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 your mission, your, 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 your thing on the planet, then things will come to you, it'll be all right. I think we just go too far beyond what's all right. Uh, but then I could be wrong, you know, because as usual, this is just a, a dispatch from, from, 
and the arts director of memory said that would be me. The team from the Patterson taking a chance to bet, let, letting well, you, Brother Billy, and, and, and you also uh, know, uh, but I only suspect. Mm.